Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy, the largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, on this week's Tech Tip Tuesday, I'm gonna answer the question, if you are considering going to a lithium battery, why do you need to change the charger? So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so over here I have two different batteries and I get that question quite a bit. Hey, I'm, I'm considering going with a lithium battery. I hear it so much better. You know, what else do I need to do with the RV? So here's the thing. There's different things that we can do to charge a lithium battery, but the basic, the most basic is, of course, we have a converter in the RV. That converter typically is set for our lead acid batteries. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna perform a test. I've got a lead acid battery that's fully charged. A fully charged lead acid battery produces roughly around 12.7 volts. And it's that voltage that we're concerned about. You see your standard converter cannot push more than what the, lit, the lead acid battery can really ask for. So it's designed to charge a lead acid battery. The problem that we have is with lithium batteries, they have a higher voltage. And in order to charge them fully, we have to have a charge source that can produce something like 14.4, 14.6 volts, 14.6 volts. So just to, as a demonstration, I'm going to show you. I have a lead acid battery here. I've got my uh, multimeter, and I've got it set to volts DC. This is a battery, so we're going to go volts DC. So I'm going to put the red on the positive and the black on the negative, and you should see roughly around 12.7 volts, right? 12.6, 12.7 volts. And so this battery is charged, but if we were to hook it up to the converter, you're gonna see maybe 13 volts, 13.2 volts. And that's what the converter would charge at, or at least set at. What I'm gonna do now is show you that I do have the lithium battery set up, and it looks like it's plugged into something. Now, here's the thing. I'm setting up a charger, and this is what I'm gonna talk about, this charger here, but it is, it is not plugged in, okay? And I want you to look at the resting voltage. So this is just a, you know, kind of technical here, but I've got resting voltage. This battery, not charged to anything, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the terminals, and you will see 13.6, 13.5, or 13.7, somewhere around there. That's the resting voltage. Now the reason why I point that out is because I need a charger that is capable of charging lithium. And when we say capable of charging lithium, it has to be capable of sustaining that 14 volt charge. So the first charger that I'm gonna talk about, the one I have the most experience with is the uh, Vitron. This is the IP22. It is a simple lithium charger, um, lithium capable charger. Um, and by simple, I mean, if you're just looking to put in lithium batteries and you need just a charger, this is probably one of the best bets out there. So in my review, I'm gonna talk about how simple it is to hook up. Now on a charger, it's just like a converter, right? It takes 120 volts, steps it down, 120 volts AC and makes 12 volts DC or nominally 12 volts, in this case, 14 volts. So I only have a couple wires I gotta hook up. It comes with a plug, so we would plug that in. But before we plug that in, of course, we gotta hook up our battery cables, okay? So on this, it's just simple. You got a positive side and a negative side that you would plug into, positive, I got my red cable connected to my positive terminal, and I've got my black cable connected to my negative, okay? Clearly marked on there, positive and negative. You gotta get the right size wire. I'm using a six gauge wire that can handle 115 amps. Now this particular charger, it charges at 30 amps. It's, it's you know, it's smaller, but with a lithium battery, you don't need much help. It doesn't need a converter to do the work because most of the batteries can charge and discharge at a high rate. This particular battery here, it's a Big Beard battery, and the Big Beard battery can charge at 200 amps or even discharge at 200 amps. All right, what I wanna do is just simply plug it in and talk about you know the ease of use on this one. This one does give you different uh, charge states. It has a 14.4 volts. If you don't wanna charge your lithium batteries all the way up to 100%, now when you charge them up to 100%, you're gonna lose some of those cycles. Okay, anytime you do anything at 100%, eh, well, that battery may not last as long. So you could put it at 14.4 volts. You could do a high charge at 14.6 or 14.7. They also have another one, which is 14, uh, just lithium ion. Now with this, they have their mode, and you can grab the book there, but you can switch between their mode. That's all that you have to do. 
So typically, if you have a lithium battery, if you want it at 14.4 volts, that's what it's going to charge at. If you put it on lithium ion, it will go ahead and follow. There, we have a little uh, scale on there that will actually charge. So all you have to do is just change this. So what I'm going to do is hook this up, and I'm going to test if it's going to produce 14 volts. So the next couple uh, tech tips, what I'm going to do is look at all the different lithium chargers out there that are in the RV space and test them. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hook this up to power. We'll just give it a couple seconds. It's going to read the voltage, and then it'll go ahead and send it through. We've got to light up. So right now, you'll see that it says it's in bulk charge, and it's sending over. I've got it set to lithium ion. So now what I'm going to do is I've got this all set up. I've got this set to volts DC. This is now charging. It shows now that it's actually in absorption mode. Okay, so quick bolt because this battery was charged. Remember, it was resting at 13.7. So I'm going to go across my uh, positive and my negative, and I should have around 14, 14.1 14 or 14.2 volts, okay? And that's what you want. So when you're thinking about getting a lithium battery, you need some type of charge source. Now this Vitron charger, it's the IP22, it's the simplest one out there, and it's actually one of the least expensive. It's, it's around $200. The neat thing is it is Bluetooth. So if you want, you can actually download the free app and actually check you know, the state of charge on the battery, whether you have it in bulk mode, whether it's in absorption, whether it's in float, and that'd be on the lithium ion. So you can actually adjust and you can check the state of charge of your battery based on the charge. And I'm gonna go ahead and look at some other uh, lithium capable converter chargers that are out there that we have in the RV market. So the next time I'm gonna look at maybe the progressive dynamics, and then we'll move from there. But I can tell you with the experience on the IP22, it's a, it's a good charger, uh, probably one of the best ones out there. It only charges at 30 amps, and so it would take a few hours to charge up this battery. But again, if you have a lithium battery, it's gonna discharge very fast and it'll charge very fast. And when you're plugging into shore power, if you don't have an inverter or whatnot, this is gonna do most of the work. So very simple to hook up and easy upgrade uh, for you. And it is one I do have a lot of experience on, so no failures with them. If you're looking at going with a lithium battery, you may want to look at the IP22. And there's your tech. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, Go ahead and click the link below, or if you just want to learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to RVTechCourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're out there in the video, roll the bloopers. So we really don't need the... I'm having difficulty putting this thing back on. Turn it around, get on. Ah, all right. To charge this battery up, it can discharge and charge it. 300. I'm sorry, 200 amps. Wow, I wish it was 300. That'd be a different one. It's coming, people. All right. That's what I got.